Welcome to another Thomas Talk. Today, we have our 1,000 subscriber special of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Thank you guys so much. Let's Yay, taxes. <laughs> uh, Thomas and Gordon were arguing about Thomas being late. When Diesel 10 races past, Gordon, Gordon is panicked because of the fat controller left on the holiday. Thomas isn't scared because... Miss, sorry. Thomas isn't scared because Mr. Conductor is coming to the railway. Later, Thomas and James are chatting when Diesel 10 comes around and threatens them, saying that he is there to destroy the magic engine. Thomas fires back, saying he will, he will never find her while they leave James confused. At Shining Time Station, a Patch was looking at Billy's map. When he came by, he asked him about some of the tracks that aren't even there. And he says this place was just magical. Patch then had to leave for Muffle Mountain to clean Burnett Stone's yard. Burnett had a secret. He had a magical engine that he hid in the mountain. Her name was Lady, and she was the one who held the worlds together. Burnett was looking at Lady when Patch walks in. Patch says he knew about this place and hasn't told anyone. He started cleaning ask or cleaning Lady and asking her why she is her. Burnett tells Patch about how they were chased by an evil diesel and she crashed. And he can't find a way to fix her. Mr. Conductor finally leaves for Island Sodor. Thomas is chuffing around trying to find Mr. Conductor when he appears right next to him. How convenient. Mr. Conductor thinks he is losing his gold dust, but he uses it anyways to get into Thomas' cab when they set off. While this happens, Dieselton, Splatter, and Dodge are plotting. Lily is Burnett Stone's granddaughter, and she is leaving to visit him. She doesn't want to see him, but her mom's making her. Meanwhile, Thomas and his friends are trying to figure out how to stop Dieselton. The night, well... At night, while they are sleeping, Diesel 10 breaks down a wall of Timmy Sheds. Mr. Conductor tries to use gold dust, but he has run out. They scare him off with some sugar, but now Diesel 10 knows Mr. Conductor has run out. Mr. Conductor has a dream where Shining Time is destroyed because he cannot go back with the gold dust. Lily was trying to find your train. When Mutt convinces her to go on the wrong train that will lead to Shining Time Station. We get a beautiful song when she arrives at Shining Time Station. Miss Kind Mr. Conductor is looking for the windmill. When he finds a clue about the gold dust, but when he gets lost and finds vegetables that make him remember the beach where a cousin is lives so he can call him, and Junior agrees to go to Sodor. Lily is confused at Shining Time, looking around and finds Junior in Mr. Conductor's house, grabbing the last of the gold dust later. Later, sorry. Later, Stace, Stacy mm -hmm. tells Lily she got on the wrong train and she will take Lily to her grandfather. That night, while Lily was safe with her, brun with her brunette meet... With brunette. With brunette and Patch. Sorry. Thomas and Percy find out that the magic engine is hiding in the magic buffers and didn't know Diesel Tang was listening to them. Toby sets chase after Diesel Tang. Diesel Tang telling his plan to splodge as Toby is watching. Toby rings his bell, scaring Pinchy to collapse the shed on top of them, and Toby escapes. The next day, Henry is sick, so Thomas fetches him some special coal. Thomas grabs six coal trucks, but for him, he bumps one hard and it hits some buffers and disappears. Thomas soon figures this out thanks to Bertie, and he goes to tell the others. Mr. Conductor is walking by the viad viaduct when Diesel Tang grabs him and holds him above the river below. Mr. Conductor clips a pipe on Pinchy, sending him flying to the windmill. He finds the clue to get more gold dust there. Lily is sitting on the grass when Patch comes up and asks if she wants to go to the shine, to shiny time, and she agrees. Lily finds Junior at the station, and he ta takes her through the magic tunnel to Sodor. 
They climb a mountain and find Thomas, and they set off to find Mr. Conductor. They go to the windmill, and they realize they have no more gold dust. Junior hops on the windmill to go on a ride, and unluckily lands on to Diesel 10. That night, Patch tells Burnett that Lily was missing. Percy goes to protect the buffers when he sees Splodge looking for the buffers. He goes to warn Thomas. Mr. Conductor, Junior, Lily, and Thomas are sitting by a campfire when they make a choice and send Thomas and Lily to go th through the buffers. Percy tells Thomas to be careful. Thomas and Lily go through, <laughs> through the buffers and end up in the tunnel. They find the other little truck and grab it. Then they go through more buffers leading to the real world. Lily ditches Thomas, and Thomas rolls rolls off the mountain into more buffers through the ground, maybe? Lily goes to Lady's hideout, and she tells Burnett everything. Then they realize that all they need is special cold from the island of Sodor. Patch goes to get some from the cold truck, and they fire up Lady and start off through the tunnel. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 tosses Junior onto James, which is in the scrapyard, and starts backing them up until the melting pit. But Junior uses the last of his gold dust to make their escape. Lady turns to the tunnel and in, into a beautiful runway. In, sorry, railway. Not right. And gains her <laughs> face. Sorry. And gains her face. They find Thomas and head into Sodor. They meet up with the others and start celebrating. But then Diesel Tank comes around the corner and starts chasing Thomas and Lady. Burnett hops into Lady and Thomas is mad. They race all the way to the viaduct, and it's about to collapse. Lady crosses it easily, but Thomas barely makes it as the bridge breaks behind him. Diesel 10 falls and lands in a boat, and later they meet up, and Lily, thanks to what she grabbed from the magic railway, they're able to make gold dust again, and its day is saved thanks to Thomas. Of course. All right, okay. this plot. I know it's unpopular, it's so it, confusing. It's popular yet unpopular. I know it ruined Thomas. But, but that's not Well, it's one. not the plot. The plot didn't ruin Thomas. It was the, the movie. It, it was the humans. Know. And yeah. it wasn't a It wasn't like it, Thomas. I, right, that's what ruined it. But, but it not, is the best movie plot created. And the best Thomas movie created. There are many, like... Things that just don't, don't make, make sense. Like, Diesel 10 terrified to death of sugar. Yeah, I mean, it was... Joe, you think Mr. Conductor can actually get into his controls to put sugar in there? No! <laughs> it's gotta open him up! Yeah. But, I mean, like... Overall, this, like I said, is definitely the best movie Oh. And, like, it's just, the plot is solid. It's entertaining. It's a lot of fun to watch. Um, and the movie did make all of its money back. It was, maybe not the movie was popular, but the merch actually did make enough money. Yeah. And, really, <laughs> the, this plot, yes, confusing. Yes, there are some inconsistencies. But if you look at it, it, it really shaped, like, the world of Thomas. I mean, like, it made... I think it's really the thing that made Diesel 10 a, a villain. It introduced gods into the world of Thomas. Like, yeah, I mean, like, how could we do have Creepy Lady on James Clips if Lady never existed? How could we have... We, we wouldn't have anything we have today. We would CGI ha series might not even exist. We wouldn't... We most definitely wouldn't have as many conspiracy theories. We definitely, the whole world of Thomas would be completely different and, and for better, better. <laughs> better, for better or for worse, I think I liked what we got from the show when we had it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We all know we don't have it, but yay, we get a, get that lookout mountain, blue mountain mystery. But anyways, <laughs> so. Hope you guys enjoyed this movie review on Thomas and his Magic Railroad. Link to our Discord server down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. We can finally make money. I know, it's great. I know, like, not a lot of money, but it's a start. And most of it will probably just go back to the van. Well, yeah. 
I mean. We are taking a bit of the personal, but. Yeah, because this is not going to be our life job. Probably. Yeah. But... <laughs> and if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, then. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, Lily. Mattel blocks the rest of the credits, so bye.